Hello, I'm Jeff Nelson, and I'm going to be introducing you to the Beetroot tank gauging system. To start with, we're going to introduce uh, two pieces of equipment that connect to the console. The first one is the automatic tank gauge probe. This is called in the industry the probe, but it's an automatic tank gauge that reads fuel levels in the tank. There are several components to this probe. First of all, there's a connection cable at the top. It connects to the console itself. Then you have the probe head that's a computer board inside this probe head that allows you to connect and talk to the tank gauge. Then you have the probe shaft. This is a long shaft of metal that goes all the way to the bottom of the tank and rests on the bottom of the tank here at this point. Inside the shaft, you have a communication wire that goes from top to bottom. And there are reference magnets inside of this system at the very bottom and on each of the floats that float up and down on the shaft. The floats themselves are two different kind and they have magnets at the top of each of the floats. The float that has the rings at the bottom is weighted and it's called a water float. This is made to drop through the fuel and float on water. The fuel float is made to float on any liquid. And if you notice, the fuel float and the water float are in this order. The fuel floats at the top or the water floats at the bottom because water drops to the bottom of the tank. Also inside the shaft, we have five thermistors, which are thermometers and it measures the temperature inside of the fuel. So the normal operation, as the fuel moves up and down on the shaft, the magnet reference on the fuel float itself tells within a very accurate amount how many inches are inside the tank. And if there's any water in the bottom of the tank, the water float floats and it tells you how many inches of water are in the tank. So this is made to communicate with the TLS tank monitoring system. That's a probe. 